Yo, what is going on guys? Man, I feel like I have not talked to you guys forever and I'm sorry. I know I did not post last Wednesday. I was just super, super bogged down with school. Like it was insane. Uh, if you stick to the end of the video, I'll show you some of the cool stuff I was working on though. It's maybe a way to make up with that. But this video is about a review of my new skate shoes and they're not really new anymore because you know they're pretty darn dirty but these are a pair of Kariyuma skate shoes that I got a couple months ago and today we're going to be talking about just the shoes overall my experience with them and would I recommend them or not so let's get into the video Okay, so these shoes right here, uh, it's kind of funny how I got them. So I was not originally in the market for getting a new pair of shoes. I had my Nike SBs. Yeah, they were getting holes in them a little bit, but at the time I was like, these are fine. These are good. I'm chilling. But I got an email from Kariuma, this company, and it wasn't written by them, but it was just an email and it said like, somebody sent you a $30 off coupon. And I was like, oh, that's weird. How do they even get my email? The next day I checked my Instagram DMs one of my fans told me that he sent me a $30 like referral thing from that company. He said he really liked the shoes and that I should check them out. And I was like, well, you know, my SBs are kind of getting old and I do want to try out new shoes. So I kind of just took it as a good opportunity to grab a new pair of shoes and try them out. I got this pair right here. These are the white. Maybe not the best decision because they got really, really dirty, but I got them for $50. Normally they're 80, but 50 was an insane deal that I had to take. And I've had them now for about two months and they are really, really awesome. So I want to quick go over some things that the company makes note of. So these shoes here are 100% like eco-friendly and bio shoes. So like all of the rubber and plastics are recycled that are made from the shoe and the canvas material it's all made from reusable materials so if you're really into like being eco-friendly or just conscious about stuff like that it's a great company to support and they make shoes for a pretty low price so pretty cool honestly and another really cool thing about this is the inserts inside of them uh which look like this they come with the shoe they're made of some sort of like bamboo and biofoam or something like that. And this right here, this is the standout thing of this entire shoe. These inserts are crazy good. So a lot of shoes like Vans, Nike SBs, and Converse, and all of the typical skate shoes, they neglect this thing right here. They just put a really, you know, flat little piece of liner that goes on the shoe, call it good, and it is not comfortable. Personally, I don't think it's comfortable. I don't think a lot of people think it's comfortable. And this is like the game changer in these shoes because these inserts are super, super comfortable and it really makes all the difference for me. Now these shoes I have taken with me everywhere. I go skating with these shoes. I go hiking with these shoes. I'd be climbing buildings, going up parking ramps, I'd be running, I'd be going to school, going to the gym, all kinds of things in these shoes. These are my go-to shoes for everything. And they've held up well, considering how much I've used them. They don't hurt my feet and they're pretty comfortable. So honestly, there's not a whole lot to not like about these shoes, but I will say a couple strange things about them. The first one being how they tighten around your foot. So, you know, we got the laces right here. So, you know, we got the laces right here on the shoe. But the strange, the strange thing about it is no matter how hard I pull on the laces, it's only going to get like this tight. Here I am with a knot and I try to tighten it. It does not get more tight than this. Now, you know me, you know me constantly doing tricks that involve sliding the shoe because that's skateboarding like I do always all over campus. Normally I would get gigantic holes on the side of canvas shoes. As you can see here there are a little bit of holes but they haven't gone all the way through. It's only over this first upper little layer because it's like a double layer of canvas and they're not that big. And considering how rough I am with my shoes, this is not too bad. The other thing, other thing that I do a lot with my shoes is a lot of foot braking. Because in a city, I'm going to have to stop on a dime all the time, especially when I'm going down hills or I've got to stop, hit a car or something. I use foot braking a lot and it's mainly with my left foot because it's my back foot. Um, and I guess I'll just show you the comparison of the bottoms after two months of foot braking. So this shoe right here is the one that I don't foot brake on that much. So this is kind of how the bottom looks. 
And this is the one that I do foot brake on a lot. So you can see the bottom on here, there's definitely that spot right here where it's definitely rubbing down a little bit. But considering that it's already been two months and it's not broken through and there's no holes, I would say it's doing pretty good. Okay, so now as for the wearing experience, let me just let me just show you. Let me show you putting it on here. So the shoe slips on just like that and here's kind of the, here's what I'm talking about with the, the tightening, right? So I got the shoe on and I'm trying to tighten. Look, it doesn't really tighten. So we can tie it and yeah, it's on my foot. Like look, it's not, like you can feel it move a little bit, but it's not coming off. It's on there. It just feels like a tiny bit loose, which is strange to get used to. But you know, I will say, just wearing them, the look of the shoe is pretty darn cool. Like check this out. I mean, come on, they look good, man. Even if, even all this, even with all this dirt on them and everything, they look like good shoes. So here's my final thoughts on the shoes, right? $80, these are $80 right in the same range as all the other kinds of shoes on the market. You get the benefit of helping the planet because they're all they're eco-friendly shoes and they're sustainable. You get the super nice added inserts, which not a lot of skate shoes have. You have to deal with them feeling slightly loose, which when you get used to it, it's not a big deal. And you have to be aware that like any shoe, they're gonna wear down over time. With that being said, I think they're a great shoe, totally worth your money, and you should definitely go get a pair and try them out if you've never tried this brand. So that being said, if any of y'all want to send me another referral code for that, I'm pretty sure how it works is you send someone a referral code and then if they buy a pair of shoes with it, you also get $30 off for your purchase. So if y'all want to send me a referral code at this email right here, next time I buy a shoe, whoever sends me the first link, I'm going to give you that free $30 with the link, I guess, because... Because I like the shoes and I could totally go with another pair. Um, if you found the video helpful, I'd appreciate you hitting the like button. That's all I got. Peace out. I'm going to be making videos next Wednesday. I'm sorry I missed last one. I'm going to be making them next Wednesday. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. But for the real homies who didn't click off the video yet, let me show you some of the cool things I was working on last week. So here's this really cool render thing I worked on. If you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen it, but I do want to show it again for those who haven't followed me at this, you know, tag, whatever right here. It's really cool. So this right here, I'm just on my computer. This right here is a planetary interface, futuristic kind of thing. So this is the planet name I gave it. You can see it's kind of like a dial that's looking in. I think it's really cool. There are a ton of little details all over this baby. And it took me literally hours to make it. But I personally think it's really cool and worth the hours I put into it. So I think it's fun. Next thing I was working on, which I, I was actually working on this morning. So it's not like something insanely old. But it is this little sprite thing. Here, hold on. I just made this little arctic fox kind of thing, at least that's what I'm trying to go for. And then he's like on a little log here. Uh, basically this is a cool program, you can draw a pixel art and you can also animate it. So I'm going to be experimenting with that because it's kind of cool. So yeah, that's cool. And let me see if I got any other... Oh, I know. I have some other projects too, but they're not actually on my computer. I have some... Like all of my school projects that, that I didn't turn in because they were kind of like rough drafts and not finished, I put on this wall here. So we kind of got some cool things here. We got a race car that merges into a race car, but the printer cut it off. So like, bro, come on. We got this uh, Z and L combination anagram going on here. This one is just like a draft. I didn't end up using this one. This is putting it on like a background that I ended up not using. This is just some weird design that I thought looked cool. And this is a rough draft of a poster that I ended up not using because it's absolutely terrible. So I had to re redo it a little bit. Also, if you saw my last video, this is the board that I made the video on. Definitely check that out if you haven't. But right now, that's all I kind of got out to show. Um, I'll definitely show more stuff in the future. If you found that cool though, thanks for sticking to the end of the video. I'm gonna catch you in the next one, guys. Peace out.